Intensive Practice 10.2 Questions number 1 The admission of students in a school according to the science stream and the art stream follows the ratio 60 to 40. Given that the admission index of students according to the science stream and the art stream in the year 2019 based on the year 2015 was 120 and 130 respectively. Find the composite index for the admission of students in the school in the year based on the year 2019 and 2015. So here we want to find the composite index in the year 2019 based on 2015. For the science stream, the index number is 120 with the weightage of 60. Whereas for the art stream, the index number is 130 with the weightage of 40. So the composite index can be found by multiplying 120 with 60 plus 130 times 40 divided by 60 plus 40 which is the total weightage. This is going to give us the answer of 1 to 4 0, 0 over 100. So the composite index is equal to 1 to 4. Questions number 2. Myra Company has three small subsidiaries in the three districts in Selangor. The table below shows the change in productivity and the number of workers in the three subsidiaries in the year based on the year 2018 and 2010. Find the composite index for the productivity of the three subsidiaries. Give your opinion regarding the productivity of Myra Company based on the value you have obtained. So based on the information in the table, the index number in the year 2018 based on 2010 for Kuala Langat will be equal to 110 and is increased by 10%. And for Gomba, the index number will equal to 100 as there is no change from 2010 to 2018. And as for Shah Alam, the index number will equal to 80 and it is decreased by 20%. Here, the numbers of workers will be the weightage. So to find the composite index in the year 2018 based on 2010, it will be 110 times 3 plus 100 times 2 plus 80 times 5. Then we're going to divide with the total weightage that will be 3 plus 2 plus 5. The answer for this will be 930 divided by 10, which is equal to 93. Here, the composite index is less than 100. It means there will be a decrease when compared to the best year. The decrease in percentage can be calculated, calculated by using 100 minus the 93 which is equal to 7 percent so this means the productivity of myra company in the year 2018 decreased by seven seven percent when compared to the year 2010 questions number three the subject evaluations in a college follows the paper one paper two and the coursework format the allocations for coursework is 20% of the total marks of the subject, whereas the marks for paper 1 and paper 2 is 80% of the total marks. And both of the papers are important in the calculations of the final marks. So Kalavati obtains 85, 72 and 68 marks for paper 1, paper 2 and coursework respectively. Calculate the final marks obtained by Kalavati in the subject. So from the questions, we know that the marks for the paper 1 and paper 2 have a different weightage compared to the coursework. So paper 1 and paper 2 is 80% of the total marks, whereas the coursework is just 20% of the total marks. And as for paper 1 and paper 2, both of them are important in the calculations of the final marks which means the marks in paper 1 and paper 2 will contribute equally. Therefore, paper 1 will contribute 40% and paper 2 will also contribute 40%.
So this 40%, 40% and 20% here will be the wettage. So here we can calculate the final marks by using the formula of the composite index. So this will be 85 times 40 plus 72 times 40 plus 68 times 20. And we're going to divide it with the total wettage. So here we will get the answer of 7640 divided by 100. So the final marks will be 76.4. Questions number 4. The table below shows the price index and change in the price indices for four main materials in the productions of a facial wash. So A. Find the value of M if the composite index in the productions of facial wash in the year 2021 based on the year 2019 is 133. So to find the composite index in the year 2021 based on the year 2019, we need to have the price index in the year 2021 based on the year 2019 and multiply it with the wettage which is given in the pie chart here. Therefore, when 150 multiply with its wettage which is 10% plus 140 times 40 plus 30 percent time with the m we're going to get 30 m plus 115 times 20 over the total weightage which is 10 plus 40 plus 30 plus 20 this will give us the answer of 133 now we're going to solve for the numbers here so this will give us the answer of 30M plus 9400 over 100 is equal to 133. To solve for the M, we are going to move this 100 to the right hand side. Therefore, 30M plus 9400, this will equal to 133 times 100 which is 13300. Next. We're going to move the 9,400 to the right hand side. So this will be 13300 minus 9,400 which is equal to 3,900. To find the M, move the 30 to the right hand side. It will be 3,900 divided by 30 which is equal to 130. Questions B. Calculate the composite index in the productions of the facial wash in the year 2023 based on the year 2019. So for this question B, first we need to know the index number in the year 2023 based on the year 2019 for each of the material A, B, C, D. So from the table here, the value that we have here is the price index in the year 2021 based on 2019. As for this column, this will be the price index in the year 2023 based on 2021. So for material A is stated no change, therefore the index number here will equal to 100. As for material B reduced by 10% is mean the index number here is 90. For material C, no change. So the index number is 100. And for material D, is increased by 20%. Therefore, the index number here is 120. Now, to find the index number in the year 2023 based on 2019 for each material, we can use the SMALS method. So this will be the index number in the year 2021 based on 2019. As for this part, this will be the index number in the year 2023 based on 2021. And for this one, it will be the index number in the year 2023 based on the year 2019, which is the one that we want to find. So if you label the each of the index number here using ABC, so A times B over 100, it will equal to the C. So to find the price index of each material in the year 2023 based on 2019, 
it will be equal to the price index in the year 2021 based on 2019 multiply the price index in the year 2023 based on 2021 divided by 100. So the value in the first, uh, the second column here, this will be equal to the A and this one will be equal to the B. So now let's find the price index in the year 2023 based on 2019 for each material. So for material A, and there is no change. Therefore, the price index in the year 2023 based on 2019 will remain as 150. As for material B, we're going to take the 140 multiply with 90 over 100. The answer will be 1 to 6. And as for material C, as there is no change, so the price index will remain the same as 130. And for material D, we can find the price index here using 115 multiply with 120 over 100. This will give us the answer of 138. So now we already have enough information for us to calculate the composite index. So this will be 150 times the weightage here, 10, plus 126 times 40, plus 130 times 30, plus 138 times 20. Over the total weightage, which is 10 plus 40, plus 30, plus 20. So the answer here will be, 13200 over 100. So the answer will be equal to 132. Question C. Calculate the production cost of the facial wash in the year 2023 if the cost correspond to the year 2019 is 19.5. So we can find the production cost in the year 2023 using the formula of the index number. As the production cost that we want to find is for the facial wash. This means we're going to use the composite index that we find in questions B. As the facial wash is referred to all the material A, B, C, D which involve here. So the composite index in the year 2023 based on 2019 in, that we find in question B which is equal to the 132 will be used as the index number here. So when we take the production cost in the year 2023, when we divide it with the production cost in the year 2019, which is 19.5, and multiply it with 100, this will give us the answer of 132. To find the production cost in the year 2023, so we need to move the 19.5 and the 100 to the right hand side. This will be 132 times 19.5 over 100. The answer of this is RM 25.74.